All right. <gasps> Hello, my kindest people out there. Oh my God. Okay, a few things before we start. First of all, I've missed you so, so much. I'm so excited to, to start this video. And second of all, I'm so excited to reconnect with you, to get together with you once again. That means we need to pack our bags, we need to get out. I haven't painted or sketched outdoors in a very long time. If you want to join me, pack also your bags because there's this forest very close by and i thought maybe we could go there and sketch it's autumn in germany and i'm really excited to look at the trees because i love when the trees lose their leaves and you can really see all the branches it's a lot of fun but yeah i've missed you i am so excited to talk with you again so this video is just for you and me to have a catch up talk together i'm so grateful that you join me for this yeah i'm excited i'm excited so i'm gonna put on my coat put on my boots and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna meet over there at the forest so i'll see you in a minute you guys we arrived at the forest now i'm just taking a very slow walk here and i'm keeping my eyes open to maybe a spot where we can just chill and paint so i think it's time to just talk about what happened these last couple of months i think i need to start with why i started youtube in the first place looking back last year when i started youtube in the summer it was pretty much a uh, quarter life crisis I went through. Um, now I can laugh about it, but at the time it was very hard for me. I was very unhappy with the career choices I made. I really wasn't happy with going into education, uh, going into teaching. But at the time I already had my bachelor degree. I already had started my master's degree and yeah, I just wasn't sure about anything. So I think as a creative, maybe you also felt that way there's always this point where you think like, oh, maybe I can turn my, my creative side into my job. Yeah, so I started YouTube basically to escape my own reality, to escape my own choices I made. I was really scared. Now looking back, last summer I started YouTube. It was a lot of fun. It really was. But at the same time, my intentions were totally different than today. So I was very dedicated and I thought, come on, let's push this, let's put everything into this so that I don't have to go into education, I don't have to become a teacher, let's do this. Well, that worked out until March this year. Oh, this is a cozy spot you guys <laughs> i really like this spot um i think i will take out my art supplies in just a second maybe you will already see what i paint so join me take out your art supplies as well um because i really like how this part of the forest looks like but here back to my story hey everyone voiceover maki here um, I'm taking over this part because honestly what I recorded before was a bit all over the place so let's dive in properly. So we ended with what happened in March. Now this past March things start to shift. 
I was writing my master's thesis and I felt the pressure to keep posting on YouTube. I told myself I had to stay consistent even though I was already exhausted. Balancing my thesis, my studies and YouTube took a toll and eventually I hit complete burnout. I was mentally and physically exhausted during that time. Around the same time I started a mandatory teaching internship with a three hour daily commute which was so hard on me. Balancing all that while trying to maintain my YouTube channel was too much and I had to step back. That's when I stopped posting altogether and just focused on getting through each day. Well, that internship became a turning point for me. It turned out to be a completely different experience from what I had imagined. I actually enjoyed it so much more than I expected. Working with students, being in the classroom. It felt natural and fulfilling in ways I hadn't anticipated. And the reality of teaching was nothing like the fears I had built up in my mind. But then something unexpected happened. One day on my way to school, I was hit with a huge wave of anxiety about my YouTube channel. I began to worry that my colleagues or even my students might find my videos. I was afraid of being judged or made fun of. That fear of judgment became so overwhelming that I went home that day and made my entire channel private without any explanation. I let my fear control me, even to the point of shutting down something I loved. like how the painting is turning out. Um, I really enjoy it right now to paint. It feels so good to be outdoors and you know that feeling like once you're in the flow it's so much easier enjoyable to create. I'm so grateful that I came out today that I took the courage to say you know what I'm gonna go out today, I'm gonna paint today, I'm gonna reconnect with you guys today. So happy, really. I'm really excited about just playing with colors right now. What is something that you enjoy currently? Like, I also need an update from you guys, right? This is not just an update from me, I need an update from you. Like, what have been you up to? What do you enjoy creating at the moment? What is your favorite material, your favorite style to create? Do you love to draw at the moment or to paint? Yeah, I am so happy right now, really. Eventually my internship ended and then summer came. For the first time in months I had a space to breathe, to look back at everything I had been through 
and to really reflect on why I had been feeling so lost. It was a season of confronting my deepest fears and realizing what had actually triggered my quarter life crisis. Looking back, I began to understand that my crisis stemmed from a fear of leaving my safe space. University had been my comfort zone, a place where I felt secure and protected for such a long time. Stepping out into the real world taking on the role of a teacher and moving forward into adulthood all felt like a leap into the unknown. I realized that I wasn't just afraid of teaching, I was afraid of the next step, of facing that uncertainty of a new chapter in my life. Well, this fear had been paralyzing me. Rather than to face it, I would run in the opposite direction. And to justify my escape, I started absorbing the negative stories of others in teaching, listening to all the reasons why it wouldn't work out and letting their doubts and disappointments become my own. In that moment of reflection, I saw that I had let fear control me, that I'd been so scared of the unknown that I was willing to believe anything that would justify running from it. Something else I realized during summer was that there was this lifelong belief that other people's opinions mattered more than my own because growing up I was taught that what others thought of me was like the most important thing and that became the foundation of my self-worth. This belief held me back, making me afraid to pursue what I loved, which was YouTube, because I was so afraid and scared of being judged. I realized that this fear of judgment had taken over, even to the point where I had stopped doing something I genuinely loved, which is creating on YouTube. This summer gave me a chance to look inward and start dismantling that mindset. But looking back, I realized that the hottest moments in life often carry the deepest lessons and pain and struggle are part of being alive. But finding purpose in that pain or meaning is what really helps me personally. Now looking back at this full year with all these really ups and downs and all the suffering and all the feelings, I'm very grateful for having felt all that. I don't know about you guys, but there's just a very big joy for me to share my art. I would love to know your thoughts on this or like how you feel about this. Because I personally, I, I feel such a joy sharing my art and it's not about bragging. It's more about just having a safe space where, you know, I always imagine having this big, huge table where we all join. That's how YouTube felt to me during all the time where I created, you know, it's such a beautiful feeling to see the same names every other week in the comment section and reading your thoughts. That's the aspect I love about art is when I can share it and other people feel connected to it or it makes them excited to create for themselves. So here I was during summer and honestly, during all that time, you guys, I was feeling uh, like in my head, I was feeling very heavy. So during the time I received a message from my very kind and dear friend, you know who you are. And she sent me a screenshot of one of you guys um, asking Milk Cloud, if you know her, asking Milk Cloud where I am. So a big thank you to Milk Cloud and to my dear friend for reaching out to me and sending their message to me. And honestly, that message really woke me up. It really woke me up and I was like, okay, I need to rethink everything because honestly, you guys, I'm someone who I don't think that people love me. <laughs> now that's getting deep, right? <laughs> um, I very often think people don't really care about me. People have better things to care about and that might be true but I thought to myself okay now I'm gone for such a long time no one really cares but 
I received so many emails and messages and comments. I don't know why, but it really, it touched me very deep and I felt so seen. And I want to thank you guys for making me feel that way. And I hope you, I really hope that you have people in your life that make you feel that way. Because you made me feel very special, to be honest. You made me feel very... Uh, very seen, very alive. I think that was the moment I was like, you know what, I don't care what other people think of me. I won't allow my anxiety and the thought of other people's judgment paralyzing me and taking away joy that I actually feel for something. Oh, you guys, my painting just got a little bit crazy. It looks a little bit crazy in full, but um, that's okay. <laughs> I cannot draw or paint and talk. By the way, you guys, my creative energy I don't know about you, I would like to know, but my creative energy has been quite low. I, I know this from the past. I always have periods where I don't create as much or not at all, but I think that period is over now and I feel excited to create again. I, I was baking so much. Oh my God, I was baking so much these last couple of months. I think that was like my other creative energy that came up uh, once the other creative energy went down, like with all the painting and stuff. Yeah, I just um, want you to feel appreciated. I just want you to feel that there is someone out there, me, who's very grateful that you exist, that you breathe, that you are alive. I'm just very grateful that I have very kind human beings around me, you included that make me grow more and more. Yeah, I want to show you my painting, you guys. Do you see this one? I like it a lot. I hope you can see. I will show you a close-up in just a second. I don't like this part up here, but that's great. I don't like it because there will be another time where I can try it again. it's time to go home thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for welcoming me back i love you so much i want to thank you for your presence i want to thank you for being here still being here even after this very long break i'm here to stay i'm here to show up and thank you for being patient with me and allowing me to just get back to myself i want to thank you and i'm sending my biggest hug I'm sending you all my love. I want you to feel empowered this week. I hope you feel great about yourself. I hope you feel beautiful about yourself or good looking or handsome, whatever you want to. Cannot wait to see you in my next video, you guys. Thank you for giving me this beautiful space to be myself and to share my passion with you and having this beautiful community over here. So until then, take care. I love you. Bye.